skin, big bandage. Hi guys, my name is Jess. If you don't know me already, I am a YouTuber and I make a lot of skincare videos as well as eating my hair quite regularly. Today, I really do want to talk to you about Accutane. So, almost one year ago, I started taking this stuff. <laughs> I started taking Accutane and as much as it freaked me out when I first started, I'm glad that I've done it. So today I want to talk to you guys all about Accutane and why I'm taking it and if you guys should maybe consider taking it too. And this was actually inspired, prompted by a little post that I saw on the Banish Acne Scars Instagram page where they asked if anybody was taking Accutane and I put my hand up. <laughs> I put my hand up and said, yeah, I'm taking Accutane. I'm taking 20 milligrams each day and it's been great for me but I still think that it's a last resort medication and that's kind of why I wanna to talk to you guys about it today. So I think that we've probably all heard about Accutane. It's something that if you do have acne and you've had acne for a long time, then you've probably heard the term Accutane or Roaccutane or Oritane or how do I always forget how to pronounce this properly, Isotretinoin? Yes, so basically this stuff here and you can get it in lots of different milligrams. Like I said, I'm taking 20 milligram a day and it has been almost a year <laughs> that I've been taking it, which is a very, very long time to be taking any kind of medication. But here we are. This is just the skin that I am in. For me, I really, really, really believe that this is like, a last resort. This is the kind of medication that you would be taking if nothing else is working. You've tried all the topical creams, you've tried the diets, you've tried the exercise, you've tried the de-stressing treatments, you've, you've tried everything. You've maybe even tried antibiotics or other medications for your skin and nothing is working. You're at your wits end and you just want you just want a clear face you just want it happening <laughs> and that's the point that i think that you should be looking at accutane maybe that is a little bit controversial in itself because i reckon that if you went to a dermatologist and they saw a few spots on your face one of the very first things that they would say to you would be go on accutane that's it just just do it now do it right now get it over and done with and yeah i think that's probably what they would say it does seem to be the kind of medication where if you've got bad skin and you go to a derm they are very likely to say i'm just putting you on accutane that's it i don't really agree with that being the first port of call for treatment but there you go that does tend to happen quite a bit anyway look the reason why I say that it should be your very last resort is because this is a pretty heavy duty medication. I think we've all kind of heard about the side effects, the numerous side effects that you can get from Accutane and they can be pretty harsh. When I first went on Accutane many, many years ago, when I was a teenager, I went on a much higher dosage. I don't know what dosage I went on, but I know it was higher and my everything flipped out. Like it was real, real bad news. I had terrible side effects. I had the worst side effects and I didn't finish my treatment. Now I am many, many years older and my skin has not improved. <laughs> I've tried everything. <sighs> and I had to do something for me. I had to do something that even if I told people that I would never ever do it I had to go back on my word and take Accutane because I tried all the creams all the potions all the everything else and nothing else was happening it was just I had to do it so it's a last resort and I found this time around with a much much lower dose my side effects have minimized. I don't have really super severe side effects like I did the first time and it has been a lot easier. 
but I am on it for a much, much longer time because it's a lower dose. So, should you consider going on Accutane? Like I said, this is a last resort medication. If you have tried everything, then okay. I think that you should maybe give it a crack. But I don't think that you should go on it if you've just got a few spots. And I don't think you should go on it if you've just got a few spots and you're a teenager. Just because when you're a teen, you've got a lot going on with your body, lots of changes happening and a lot of hormonal differences. And I don't think that you should think, oh, I have a few spots here or there. And that means that I must go on medication for it. I think that you will actually likely find there are other treatments for you, more either natural treatments or easier things that you can get for your skin. Yeah, life can be a lot easier when you're a teenager. <laughs> but if you have been suffering for a long time, like years, you have been trying, trying, trying to get rid of your acne, then maybe, maybe this is the way to go. I also think if your acne is quite severe, like, when I just said then about a few spots in high school, if you've got more than just a few spots here and there, you've got more chronic inflammation. You've got cystic acne. You've got very sore acne. You've got the kind of acne that just, it just grows and grows and doesn't go away. And you've got it for so many weeks and weeks and months and months. Yeah, I think then it's really time to do something about it. But be careful of, your you know the situation that you're in like if you are a teenager and you want to go on it then keep in mind that your hormones are going a little bit crazy and going on a much lower dose i think would be the way to go now the last thing that i wanted to say to you guys in regards to this whole big question of should you go on accutane what is the answer to this well you need to find that out for yourself however what i would say is that if acne runs in your family then I think that you should seriously consider going on this medication because the thing is if you've got acne running in your family like your mum or your dad has it or maybe a cousin like for me my dad had it quite badly and he still gets it and <laughs> he's an old man now uh, but he still gets spots here or there and also my cousin had it pretty significantly it was really really bad for her as it's been quite bad for me too uh, and I know other family members have had acne as well so I know that this runs in my family just so annoying it's so frustrating there's nothing I can do you know like there's so many things in your life that you can control but you can't control your genetics <laughs> if whatever you've been given that's it, that's your lot in life. And I assumed that for a really long time, you know, uh, this was my lot in life, that I would just have acne. There was nothing I could do. And I lived my life managing my acne. I would just manage my spots, put on my topical treatments, feel a bit crap, and I just have to get on with living my life, you know? But now that I've been on Accutane for almost a whole year, crazy, I feel pretty differently. I feel like, no, if acne is a significant problem for you and you know that it runs in your family, then going on this on this acne medication as, you know, as difficult as it might be and as scary as it might be, it is so much better than the alternative. It is so much better than suffering every single day because God knows I suffered. <laughs> I really, really, really suffered from acne. And now that I don't have it, <sighs> it's freedom. It's so awesome and wonderful and I feel a hell of a lot better about myself. I feel so much more positive about life and it really is due to this medication. Even though I've been getting side effects, they haven't been super severe. And I'm quite, I don't know, I'm, am I lucky? I don't know if it's luck. I don't know if it's luck. This is the kind of medication where you can't predict exactly what's gonna happen. 
So even with me here telling you, go on this medication and this is what will happen. No, I don't want to do that because I can't predict your experience. But you can maybe do your own research and you can watch videos like this one and find out for yourself if this is something that you might want to do. But just from me personally talking to you, I think that if acne is significantly affecting your life, you've had it a long time, you've tried everything else, and you know that it runs in your family, then it very well may be time to accept. Accept Accutane into your life. <laughs> it very well may be the way to go. So you can finally get a clear face. Oh my God, can you believe it? Can you, can you even imagine it? Because it was difficult for me to even imagine, but here we are almost a year later still on it <laughs> but wow what a journey it's been great and uh yeah i would love 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 you to have the same result okay guys if you want to talk more about accutane please hit me up on my socials or down below leave me a comment and let me know what you think i know accutane is super super scary but this is awesome that we can actually start having more conversations about it just like this. So let me know what you think and I really look forward to catching you all in my next video. Have a fantastic rest of the day everybody. Mm -hmm. See ya. <laughs>